Today on the show, we're taking a look at the final part, the final official part of Funeral for a Friend. This is Funeral for a Friend number eight, Superman number 77, so stay tuned. As I said today, we're taking a look at the final official part of Funeral for a Friend. This is Funeral for a Friend number, or part eight, Superman number 77. Uh, as you can see, the end, Superman flying off into the sun, whatever. The front cover is kind of misleading. Um, this is done by Jurgens and Breeding. Uh, we open with Lex Luthor sparring uh, with some martial artists, or a martial artist anyway, and she pretty much kicks his ass. Uh, and he's pretty humiliated by this. Uh, but he doesn't really let on right away. Um, Lois Lane comes to see him. Um, pa Kent gets rushed to the hospital because of his heart attack in the last issue. Um, he, he's, he begins to hallucinate. You get some you know, pictures here of Superman and Clark. Uh, Jimmy Olsen is trying to, uh, is turning over some photos for a memorial piece for Superman, uh, for a magazine or whatever. Uh, and he is obviously the official photographer of Superman. Uh, we then come to the locker room where the martial artist who pretty much kicked Lex's ass, um, she gets attacked and killed. Uh, eventually, in Reign of the Superman and Return of Superman, we discover it was actually Lex who killed her. He was very humiliated by the fact that a woman beat him. That anyone beat him, for that matter, but especially a woman. Um, <clears throat> anyway, we get to Supergirl and Lois uh, going to heading towards Cadmus there to try and find Superman's body. Um... Uh, and then Supergirl takes off with the body of Superman. Uh, he needs to be able to rest in peace. So uh, she takes him back to the tomb. However, it's discovered eventually that Cadmus got the samples they needed in order to clone him. Uh, Lex comes to the tomb and they all verify that Superman is in the casket when they lock it up. You know, he's he's pretty proud, you know. He's going to make sure that Superman stays buried. Uh, so that's when you get the gotcha part. We get a uh, dialogue from Lex as he's standing over Superman's casket. So I win. I knew I'd bury you one day. You sanctimonious, self-righteous pain. I owned this town until you came along. There wasn't a man on earth who could stop me from doing whatever I pleased. And if anyone dared to interfere, they were given a one-way ticket to hell. That's the main reason I killed her, you know, that Sasha witch. He's referring to the, uh, the martial artist that he killed in the locker room. I throttled the life out of her throat, or I throttled the life from her throat with my bare hands just to prove to you that I was king again. When they find her body tomorrow, all the evidence will point to a janitor at LexCorp, an ex-con no less. Of course, he'll deny the murder, but no one will believe him. And you can't do one blessed thing about it. You're dead. You are nothing. And I'm back on top. And then we end with the scene of Jonathan Kent. Uh, his heart stops. Um, and he's reaching for Superman. That's when we come eventually. After this, we will get to the white bag. Uh, with the Superman symbol on it. Uh, that's when we'll come to the Adventures of Superman number 500, which we'll take a look at next week. And then we've got one more issue, uh, one more part to the Funeral for a Friend storyline, the World Without Superman storyline, uh, which will be the epilogue. I'm going to go ahead and include it with the future Funeral for a Friend uh, stories before we do Reign of the Superman and Return of Superman. Even though it takes place after the return of Superman. Since it's his funeral, funeral for a friend tie-in, I'm still going to go ahead and include it. 
So if you like this video, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on future videos. I'm Shannon for Comageddon TV, the only place on YouTube where all geek culture collides. Take care, my friends.